Thank you for tuning in for another video. In this one, we got a complete back workout. The first part of this video is just a tutorial on how to set up a resistance band to help you with the pulling exercises that we're going to be doing. In the first part of the video is just going over how to use a resistance band to assist you in the pull-ups if you need it. If you don't need assistance, if you don't need to use a resistance band, you can skip to minute 141 of the video and that's where the workout starts. What I want you to notice is how I locate the resistance band on one of my knees. It does not matter which one. The only thing that matters after that is that you put the leg that does not have the resistance band over the leg that does. So notice how the resistance band is on my right leg and then my left leg goes over my right leg. So that's how I set up the resistance band to help me uh, do pull-ups or any type of pulling exercises where the bar is up above your head now i'm just showing you the same exact thing that i did but from a different angle so now i'm facing the camera and once again right the leg that does not have the resistance band is the one that goes on top that way when the resistance band is pulling up on the leg that's on the bottom it's actually pulling on both legs as opposed to just the one with the resistance band that is how you set up the resistance band when you're going to release it make sure you grip it with both hands come up and then slowly take your leg out Last thing you want to do is for the resistance band right to come up and slap you in the face. So to avoid that, follow the steps that I did in the video and let's get started with the workout. The very first exercise that we're going to do is just a regular traditional pull up. Get a nice wide grip, a little bit wide than shoulder width apart and then you're just going to do six controlled reps. Every single one of these exercises that we do, we're going to do a total of six reps. We have a total of three different exercises that we're going to be doing and it's just going to be six repetitions for each exercise. You want every single repetition to be controlled. So take as much rest as you need so that you can get anywhere from four to six reps. I'm doing six in the video, but you can do anywhere from four to six. If that's a little bit too easy, you can even right knock it up to eight or 10. If it's too difficult, I would say shoot for at least three reps and get as much rest as you need so that you can do those three reps with good form. Of course, I cut out the rest periods from the video to keep the video nice and short, but I was taking the least amount of rest that I needed in order to get my uh, six repetitions with good form. So sometimes I needed 30 seconds, sometimes I only needed 20 seconds. Of course, as the workout progressed, I needed a little bit more and more rest in between each set, but try to take the least amount of time. That way you're working that muscular endurance, which is what I am working on in this workout. Nice work with the pull-ups. Now we're gonna move on to the inverted rows. For the inverted rows, the closer that you have your legs to you, the easier that the inverted rows are gonna be. As you start to step out, the inverted rows are gonna get more and more difficult. Notice the position of my elbows every time that I come up and notice where the bar touches my chest every single time that I come up. Like I said, the further your legs are, the more difficult that this exercise is gonna be. Let's get started with the first set. We're gonna be doing, once again, six repetitions. Go for six reps. If you can, if it's too difficult, right, once again, three to six is fine. If that's too easy, even shoot for 10. Again, we're gonna take the least amount of rest in between each set so that we're working that muscular endurance. Moving on now to the second set, same exact thing. If it's too difficult for you to have your legs stretched out all the way, bring them in a little closer like you saw me doing at the beginning of this workout, and that will make this exercise a little bit easier. If you want to make it more difficult, you can add weight using a weighted vest. I do not have a weighted vest, but if I had one, that's how I would make this exercise even more difficult. Just like that, you made it to the very last workout, which are gonna be neutral grip pull-ups, the beginning of 
this exercise I'm just showing you how I set up the resistance band once again to help me with these neutral grip pull-ups it's going to be the same thing that you saw at the beginning of the video where the resistance band is of course on one of the legs and then that leg is underneath the other one so it's on my right knee so of course my right leg should be underneath my left leg like you see the arrow pointing right there And to remove the resistance band, put one leg down, grab the resistance band with both hands, slowly bring your knee up, and then uh, take your leg out and let the resistance band come up and off. This third exercise is gonna be neutral grip pull-ups. Once again, I'm going for six repetitions. Do however many you are able to do, and rest the least amount of time as possible in between these next four sets as well. Just like that, you made it to the very end of this workout. As always, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.